So folks, we'll come inside here with David into the milking parlour. David, just before we go through what's here at the minute, tell me what was here before the, the new installation. So this building was put up um, in, uh, in the sort of the early 80s. Um, my father expanded into an eight point full wood parlour. Um, it's our plant um, back in 1983. And we've been milking in it from then up until last September when we uh, upgraded then into this, this milking parlour. So there was over, um, probably over 100 cows going through the, the eight point swing over full wood. Um, and it was it was a long drawn out process. You were talking two and a half, nearly three hours by the time you got everything milked and washed and cleaned up afterwards. So it was just becoming a bit too tedious. And on top of that, you know, the parlour had come to nearly the end of its life. Yeah. The rump rails and different things were well worn and gates and, and things like that. And it was hard to get parts for and things as well for the ACRs. So see when you were coming to the the process of going for the new parlour. You you were you were closed in for space, you had to come into the existing uh, building. That's right. But and you wanted to maximize the the amount of points and, and you know the speed that you could milk your cows at yeah. within the same building as such. Yeah, that's right. We, we we were limited in room around the yard. Our yard's on a fairly <coughs> steep slope. So it's hard to to fit in a new building somewhere that would match in with where the cows were already going and the whole setup was orientated around the milking parlour and it's, it's hard to turn that on its head. Yeah. Um, so the idea was if we could maximise what space we had here in the existing building without having to knock down any walls or anything, um, it saves a lot of hassle and a lot of heartache um, and uh, it makes the job a lot simpler. So that was that was our main goal. And uh, you've went for many points down each side here? So there's you? 11 now, we've managed to fit 11 down each side um, that we had eight in before. Um, we were able to do that. The cows in the old parlour were uh, standing around 30 degrees, in a, what's known as a three foot parlour. And this is now a two foot six. So we removed the jars from the centre and turned the cows around to 55 degrees. And we were able to fit more in long ways. Yeah. Um, and it, without the jars it left more room in the centre of the pit and maximised the space and then we decided to double up to 22 points, so 11 on each side so that we could milk the 22 at the one time to get the maximum throughput that we could get from great, this space. Great stuff. And I just know that you're, you're uh, feeding in parlour? Yeah, so we have a, a meal bin outside and, and an auger in and then we're on a feed to yield. Um, the cows have auto ID so they've all got an ear tag that reads them as they come through and that then goes through to the computer and that keeps a record of their average yield over the last seven days and it feeds them then according to that mm -hmm. and adjusts it. Um, it's great particularly when you have cows calving, it ramps them up um, over the 21 days. You don't overfeed or underfeed in that first transition. Um, you can build the cows up and you're not having to keep an eye and watch for 20 or 30 cows over the course of a week. You know, it was impossible to do that manually. So all the records that you're taking, that's been fed back to you through the through the speaker here in the parlour. It'll keep you right for whatever cows. If there's a problem with a cow, it'll alert you. Does that does that help whenever if you were bringing in a helper for for milk and say at the weekend? Yeah, um, it's it's a help to me for a start because um, if you have a cow with antibiotics or um, anything goes wrong, if she's a, a depressed yield or anything like that, or even if she's got three teats or anything, you can have that all set up and it'll notify you as that cow comes through the, the door. So that if, for example, have a cow with three teats, it's handy to know as she comes in, you can lift the wee plug and have it at the cow for when you're ready to put it on. Yeah. Um, a cow with antibiotics, it's also great then, you know, it'll warn you and it'll warn you again whenever you go to put on the unit that she's got antibiotics, you know, then to go and get the, the dump bucket. If you have any help coming in, at least you have that additional um, safeguard as yeah. such for uh, not putting antibiotics into the milk tank. Keeps you on your toes. It does. And just, I know it's kind of endless, the extras and, and things that you can put on to parlours nowadays, but. Take me through some of the things that you have here and how they've helped you. Yeah, so we have, um, for example, the units here, the, the control boxes, they're known as Swift Flow Commanders, so they'll give you a lot of information 
on the cow, um, you get her number and her yield, but it'll also give you the cell count from the last milk recording, and it gives you a temperature of the milk as well, mm -hmm. and it'll give you all that information. Um, it also then allows you to control, so um, you could um, add an additional cow if you bought in new cows or if you had a new heifer. You can do that all from the screen here. You don't have to go to the computer. You can control that all from there. You can look back a certain codes and see what her previous yield was. So if you had a cow maybe that was sick and had a depressed yield and the computer alerted you through the speaker, depressed yield, you can quickly look on the screen and see what her previous yield was to see, you know, is she three litres down, is she ten litres down, or, you know, is there something badly wrong? Um, you can do that as well. We've also got um, cluster claims. Um, so whenever the unit comes off the cow, it'll drop to the ground and it flushes um, a mix of water and disinfectant to flush out the line and flush out your liners so there's no risk of contamination from one cow to the next. So if a cow had mastitis or was just taking mastitis and you didn't know it, you could spread that to maybe the next seven or eight cows without knowing. So that cleanses that as well. Um, automatic cluster removers obviously as well. And the feed to yield and then the auto ID as well as the cows come through. Um, they would be the main um, Great stuff. extras on it. And just uh, for the cows going through now, how many going through today? So there's a hundred and one going through at the minute. And um, how long does that take you? Just something <laughs> over an hour to do the milking. Um, an hour and ten minutes you can have the milking done um, and then the washing up afterwards then. And just before I forget, the installation of this you mentioned them earlier, Cookstown Dairy Services? Yes. Uh, when you changed from your old parlour to this, was it a nice smooth transaction? How long did it take and what was the big problem? From, from start to finish, amazingly, the, it took seven full days. Uh, we were complete, I couldn't express how much we were surprised at how well and how easy it went. Um, a fantastic team. Um, we never had to milk uh, one-sided or anything. There was no hindrance to us milking at all. They were able to work within their old parlour. Um, it was a very, it was like a military operation, you could say. Um, every day there was so much done and the parlour was always ready to milk at five o'clock in the evening and uh, we were able to milk the full, at, at that time 16 and then when the time came the full 22 then. Um, no problems at all. The first day that the cows were milking in the, on the new system, um, the guy stayed for the first row, um, got us started on it and left us to it. Um, they haven't had to come back at all, not a screw or anything had to be touched since um, that's six months ago. So very impressed with that as well. There was no, uh, um, no mistakes and no, you know, nothing needed to be adjusted even or anything. Um, worked, worked fantastic now. It's a fantastic setup in an existing building and look, yeah. we wish you many happy years in it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for, for watching folks.